We start off at the colorful celebration of a man with many titles, Prince, Doctor, Senator, Lanry, Tedro Show, marked his 60th birthday anniversary in style amongst family, high-profile personalities, schoolmates and many other special guests. Enjoy it. He is worn and he is wearing many hats. That makes it difficult to neglect any of his titles or roles. Prince Dr. Senator Larry Tedrosho is full of joy as he dances into the venue of his Diamond Jubilee celebration in Victoria Island, Lagos. Royalties including his father, His Royal Majesty Obadi Dakbo Tejosho and other paramount rulers in Egbaland and beyond, Chief of Staff to the President, current and former Governors of Ogun State and other high-profile guests troop into the venue to honour the celebrant. Grateful for the many things the Lord has done for him, Senator Larry Tedrosho honors his promise to sing six special hymns with his family the day he turned 60. Veteran Juju Maestro Evangelist Ebenezer Obey provides the music as the celebrant and his wife open the dance floor. The of the 60th birthday cake is supervised by a former governor of Ogun State, Chief Olusegun Oshoba. 
in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. After which some of his special guests speak about the friendship they share. Very rarely do you find a man who can effortlessly combine two opposites, brilliance and rascality. Larry Ted Yoshu was able to combine the two. I applaud you, Larry. You've lived an incredible life. I wish you all the best. I wish you God's speed. It is an honor for me to stand here proudly with my head swelling as the proud governor of this illustrious son of Ogun State. Why are you looking at me, speaker? The man is not from me, Lagos State. This man is one of the brilliant and illustrious sons that the state has produced. Again, I'm happy and proud to be here as your governor. You've been very supportive of my political career. You've stood by me. There is nothing that I've had in Apeokuta or in the Peru that you have not attended. So I propose this toast. Proposing the toast for a long-term friend, Mr. Wali Oshi, on behalf of the many high-profile guests wishes greater heights for the celebrant. Born in Abeokuta, the Ogun State capital, on the 15th of March 1964, Olanri Waju Adeyemi Tejosho is a prince of the dynasty of His Royal Majesty Obadidapo Tejosho Karunwi III, the traditional ruler of Okyono Egba Kingdom, and Olori Adetun Tejosho He's the grandson of one of the famous female industrialists in Nigeria, Chief Bisoye Tejosho, the Yellow Day of Egbaland. His primary school education was at the University of Lagos Staff School in 1967, and he attended his secondary school at Igbobi College, Lagos, in 1974. In 1981, he was admitted to the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, where he obtained the MBBS and further specialized in telemedicine and medical computing. He became a doctor at the age of 21, and after his national service year, he had a brief stint at Teju Hospital, now Iyalo de Bisoye Tejoshu Hospital, where he practiced as a medical officer. Prince Tejoshu is on the board of many blue chip companies. He is the founder of Avicenna International School and Boxwood School. He was the president of the Rotary Club of Tejo Sho, Suru Liri, Lagos, and the chairman of the Lagos Badminton Association. He founded an NGO, Iyalo de Bisoye Tejo Sho Malaria Foundation, to give medical assistance to the less privileged free of charge. He served the people of Ogun State as a commissioner during the administration of Governor Ibikula Musu handling three different portfolios of youth and sports, environment and special duties. Senator Larry Tejoshu was elected as senator representing Ogun Central in 2015, where he was chairman of the Senate Committee on Health. He is the pro-chancellor of the University of Lagos, appointed by President Muhammad Bukhari in 2021. Senator Tejoshu is married to Olori Moji Tejoshu Ni Okoya, the Oluri is one of the daughters of the renowned Nigerian businessman, Chief Razak Okoya. They are blessed with children and grandchildren. When I was much younger, I was looking at 60 years as uh, getting too old. Now I'm there and I'm feeling very young. But at the same time, I am uh, thanking God. I feel this young, I'm 60. So I thank God for his special miracle and I thank God that I'm still active and I'm still eager to serve the federal government of Nigeria and the Nigerian people in any aspects that God makes possible for me.